I'm Dr. Andy Thompson. This is a COVID-19 update, March 15th, 2020. Our current trajectory of COVID-19 in the following countries, Italy, Spain, Germany, France, and the United States, shows exponential growth. This is the days after a country has achieved 150 cases, and this is the number of confirmed cases. In Canada, day three here is March 15th. We don't know the numbers yet. This is day one and day two. By next week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, according to projections, we'll be here. And by next weekend, we'll be in real trouble. Up-to-date view of cases. If you look over to the right here, Canada, March 13th, 152. March 14th, 254. It has the same trajectory as every other country, including Italy, Spain, Germany, France, United Kingdom, and the USA. In fact, we're probably a little bit higher. You already see exponential growth in Canada. These are the confirmed COVID-19 cases in Canada. We're over 200 now. There's no particular set of signs or symptoms that you can reliably discriminate COVID-19 from other respiratory viral illnesses such as influenza. The symptoms are typically a subacute to acute onset. You will develop a cough that is not productive. You will not produce sputum. You will develop a fever or feverish, often low grade or sometimes not very high. And there's been some reports of isolated diarrhea alone preceding the cough and fever. From the time you become infected until the time you present with symptoms is estimated about four to six days. It ranges from two to 14 days. Most people, thank goodness, will recover spontaneously with supportive care. Complications from COVID-19 include pneumonia, respiratory failure, and multi-organ system failure. We look at viral shedding is greatest at the time when the symptoms start. And this is a study from China. And basically by the time you hit 14 or 15 days, the viral shedding has reduced significantly, and this is why people are quarantined for 14 days, in case you were wondering. The age distribution and case fatality rate as of 11th of February, and this is from China, you will see that the younger age groups uh, from zero to around 50 are generally spared. Once you get above 50, 60, 70, and 80, uh, the case fatality rate increases almost up to about 16%, and people are 80 and over. The overall death rate from COVID is about 1% to 3%. It seems to be higher in Italy, about 4 to 6%. Remember, the seasonal flu death rate is 0.1%. Risk factors for death from COVID include high blood pressure, diabetes, lung disease. At this point in time, there's no evidence that people who are immunocompromised, for example, those with HIV or on immunosuppressive medications, are at higher risk. What do you need to do? Stay at home. Go out for essential items only. Remember, every time you go out, you put yourself and your family and everybody else at risk. When you get home, wash your hands for 30 seconds every time. Thank you and good luck.